Hi. In this video, we're going to create your Intune tenant. A tenant is a dedicated instance of Azure Active Directory, which we'll talk about later on in the course. But for now, this is where your subscription to Intune will live and where you'll create all of the configuration around Intune, your users, your licenses, all of that stuff that we need to do to get Intune up and running will be created within your tenant. I'll put a link to this page in the resources section so that you can get started nice and quickly. This is, will essentially ask you for your email address so you can log in and get started. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, which is what I'm going to show you right now, it won't let you log in. It'll ask you to create a new account, so you'll have to go through that workflow with me. Um, this is completely for free. There's no charge to this. It's a 30-day trial, and you can get started right away. If you already have a work or school account, so a Microsoft account that is linked to a, an organization or an education establishment, then the process will be slightly different and you might want to consider not doing that if your admin uh, hasn't sort of approved it. And, and if, you are, if you aren't the person responsible for making those kind of IT decisions, perhaps make, make this test tenant using a, a personal account instead. So let's get started with this then. Let's just tap in an email address And it says it looks like you need to create a new account. In this case, I don't have a Microsoft account, so it's asking me to create that Microsoft account right now. So we'll just choose set up account. I'll tap in these details and speed up the video so that you can get through this. So once you're finished filling in the information about yourself, just choose next. And then it'll ask you for a confirmation of your identity. In this case, I'm going to use my phone number and I'm going to get it to text me a code. So choose verify and it will ask us to choose a domain name. So the account you're creating now, the username is going to be the admin username, the global administrator for this tenant. And then the domain is it's going to be something unique, globally unique. No one must have chosen that specific string before the dot on microsoft.com otherwise there'd be a conflict so you choose a domain name that makes sense for you it'll be something that you type for a little while before we set up the custom domain so you might want to make sure it's something easy to type in my case i've got i've gone for intune 291 to on microsoft.com i picked it at random so let's type in a password it's really important that you read the trial agreement so do click this button go through that all and make sure you're happy with what that contains. And then make some decisions around whether you want to receive tips and promotional information from Microsoft. Tick those two buttons if you need to. We'll choose next. And it will create our account for us. Okay, awesome. So I got my confirmation in the email. So now I'm ready to go. It says get started or manage your subscription. Let's just get started. Okay, so the first page that it puts you onto is admin.microsoft.com. And that is one of the many portals that Microsoft have for managing Microsoft 365. In this case, we know we're doing Intune. When we know we're setting up Intune. So let's skip through all of this and go through to the Intune portal or the Microsoft Endpoint Manager portal. So we can have a look at the, the admin centers that are down here. You can see you've got the option of security, compliance, Endpoint Manager, or Azure Active Directory. We're going to focus on Endpoint Manager and Azure Active Directory for the remainder of this course. So make sure to pin those or make a tab and, and make sure you can get access to those nice and quickly. I'm going to click this button and it's going to take us to endpoint.microsoft.com. There it is, endpoint.microsoft.com. And that is the Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So the next thing we usually need to check is whether the MDM authority the mobile device management authority is set to Intune. Now this used to be an issue in the past because it wasn't by default set to Intune. These days it is set to Intune by default if for a, for a new Intune tenant, if you haven't already set up some mobile device management in Office. So it's always good to just check. So from the admin center, just go to tenant administration and just check your MDM authority. If your MDM authority is not Intune, it will have a red or orange banner at the top just across here and it will tell you that your endpoint manager isn't set as your MDM authority and it will give you the option to set the MDM authority to Intune. 
it's important that you do that. Otherwise, Intune won't be managing your devices and you'd be enrolling your devices into Office or Config Manager or whatever other MDM authority you have set. Okay, so we're up and running. We have an Intune tenant. We've created an Azure Active Directory te tenant for us to house our subscription. And we've got ourselves a three, a free 30 day trial of Intune. So next we're going to look at maybe customizing this a little bit further and having maybe a custom domain. If you already have a domain that you want to link to this, perhaps in test, or maybe it is production that you're working on right now, you can link your production fully qualified domain name, your custom domain to your subscription. We'll go through that in the next video.